Tonight on Science Today we have a very special guest for you, an expert in the fields of both colour blindness and atomic theory. Direct from 1807, Professor John Dalton. Good evening, Professor Dalton. Oh, um, good evening. Do you think we could possibly ask you a few questions about your new theories for Science Today? Of course, you mean my new systems of chemical philosophy? Yes. Ah, yeah, I, I'm always eager to discuss this. Where did your idea first come from? Well, I must admit, it has been a long journey. Um, you could say the seeds were first sown back when I was studying meteorology with a good friend and tutor of mine, Mr. Robinson. He put me on to the great Greek atomists, Leucippus and Democritus. Now, they had astounding ideas, far, far ahead of their time. They discussed that the entire world of all that we see and all that we don't see is made up of tiny, tiny particles known as atoms. These atoms are all around us. Well, I continued studies of my theory while working with Dr. Thompson on the uh, peroxides and deucoxides of azote. You mean nitrous oxides and nitrogen dioxide, surely? Yes. Do you think you'd just summarise your theory for us? Of course, it's uh, quite simple really. Uh, as I said before, everything around us is made up of atoms. Uh, these atoms can not be created or destroyed. Now, it gets more tricky when you get to elements. Elements such as the gold possibly in your pocket are made out of a single type of atom, unique to gold. However, they are different to the atoms in mercury. They can be distinguished between their different relative weights. Now, other things such as water and wood, they are made up of combinations of these elements. Uh, only small amounts of these elements though. Uh, I have summarised it all in my latest volume. As you see behind you. What? Wait. Who are you? Where am I? And that's all we've got time for. Thanks very much, Professor Dalton. What, what's going on? Next week, we'll be interviewing Charles Darwin. Good night.